I think we took a turtle to a luau, but I'm not positive. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review, and here we have from Terrapin Brewing Company in Athens, Georgia, Luau, a passion fruit orange guava IPA. Now, it does say where in the world is Crunkles, and so apparently this is some kind of a new series. I don't know who Crunkles is. I guess it's their mascot. I always think the Terrapin's in Maryland, but actually that's where the University of Maryland is back from another world-renowned, uh, with another world-renowned IPA inspired by his time spent in Hawaiian Islands jam-packed with tropical fruit uh, flavors of passion fruit, orange, and guava. This Hawaiian IPA is brewed to accomp, uh, accompany you on your next luau. So it'll be interesting to see if they've put these things in here or if this is a hop variance. Uh, passion fruit and some tropical fruits. There are some hops. Wow, I can really, I can really smell the uh, passion fruit right on the nose. Hints of guava. There we go. And for those who say I put too much head on my beer, it has, that is a perfect pour. It's exactly what this glass is designed to be. The head space there, that is, I mean, that's filled right to the brim. I couldn't get more perfect if I tried. So we have a nice coloring. We've got, say, kind of lazy bubbles rising up from that center ring in the middle where the laser holes are for exactly that to bring all the aromas to your nose. Oh, that is. It's like tropical fruit, but not pineapple. That's what I like. I hate pineapple. I haven't never liked pineapple. I don't can't tell you why. I've tried to eat it. It's very good for you. Lots of things for digestion help, but man. Mm. Beautiful coloring. It's not too cloudy. Just a hint of cloudiness. Ooh, man. Yeah, that's kind of like mid-mouth. It's kind of guavy. Guavy-y. Passion fruit orange, yeah, it's almost like a blood orange. Mm. So I've not had this before, and my friends are kind of eh about it. Because it is a fruity IPA. What is the bitterness? I mean, this is so mild. 72 IBUs? Really? 6.5% alcohol and 72 IBUs? Is that right? That's insane. It's not bitter at all. I mean, it has this, a slight bitterness. And I've had this thing sitting out for probably almost 10 minutes because I had some other videos I had to shoot. And that might be why. Because uh, the warmth is letting all those other more um, fragrancy flavors and the ones more, they're, I don't say fragile, but they have to open up a little bit more and the temperature has to be a little bit more and that might be why. But man, that doesn't taste like 72 IBUs. It does have a hint, it does have a bit of, a, of a, an IPA finish, but it's just like this tropical fruit dance in your mouth. It's really good. And the guava sticks around the longest. So I get passion fruit and orange on the nose and then about the tip of the tongue and then about mid mouth gets to be a little bit more guava and it kind of finishes with more guava and then as I exhale the aromas and things as I'm speaking it really I can really feel it not feel the taste of guava it's almost like it, it kind of hangs around and coats your mouth a little bit but that is good I mean for fruity for especially for a very passion fruity IPA that's not necessarily a hot bomb and I don't know if they're putting this fruits in it when they like in secondary or something or it's all hops it doesn't say in the can and um but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if it was all hops. But, man, that's a, got a very nice balance. It's got a very good start. Very clean uh, with slight hints of bitterness on the back end. But that's, you know, on the finish, really nice. If I said this beer is really nice, so, despite my friends, I'm giving this a four and a half. I've had some fruitier beers that were a little bit nicer, a little cleaner. A little bit more balanced. This is kind of getting a little picky to get that five, but this is a really good beer. And this is one that, um, yeah, you can have it six and a half percent. You can have it just about anything, but, you know, to keep with the tropical theme, this would like be a pig roast and roasted um, pineapple. And even though I said I don't like it, but, you know, you, you can have some kind of fruit salads and stuff like that. 
and have this nice beer that just kind of goes along with the ensemble. But you could really have this with just about anything. But And it doesn't have that really sharp bitterness that you would have on an IPA and say if you're going to have it with hot food. So I wouldn't necessarily have this with hot food because it's a little sweet, but you could balance that with the sweetness as opposed to the bitterness of an IPA. So, oh, I got International Women's Day, which was yesterday. That'll let you know when I, and I, I leveled up my level 90 on IPA. So, and the vast majority of the time, I only check stuff in I haven't checked in before. So that's good. So four and a half is what I give this. So have you had a Luau from Terrapin Brewing Company? And you know where Crunkles will be next. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for clicking like. And we will see you. Goodbye. Luau Crunkles. <clears throat>